the Mistbuster um, 850, um, 500, um, or the uh, quad, the uh, troubleshooting. And uh, this video is to show um, just the different components of this machine. Um, one of the first things uh, that people ask me is, is the indicator lights. If the indicator lights are solid, you get a solid indicator light. That means the unit's running, the circuit is complete, and the cells are being charged. If your indicator light is off, in this, in this example, this machine is off, so you see these indicator lights are not on, there means that the cell is not being charged and you have a problem. They're not working. If the indicator lights are blinking, that's telling you that the cells inside are grounded out and it is also not working in that situation. So the only good situation is if you have a solid indicator light. 90% of the time, if the indicator light is blinking, it's because the cell is not clean and needs to be exchanged. If you're going to exchange the cell, you want to push the test button to ground out the cell after the unit is unplugged. Make sure the unit is off and unplugged first, then push the test button to ground out the electrostatic cell. And once you open the door, you could open, um, you can pull out the cell. And in most instances, um, the cell, although small, has a huge surface area because you have so many plates that are um, positively and negatively charged. And a lot of times what you'll have is the oil particulate will get somewhere in between the two plates and ground them out. And that's what's going to cause the light to go off or blink. So most likely your cell is dirty and needs to be cleaned. In addition, you want to check the contact plates on the cell. These contact plates could also gum up with um, oil residue and need to be cleaned out. Your, besides the cells in your typical uh, configuration, you also have pre and um, post mesh filters. And these aren't charged. These are just mesh filters that are, um, that are there to knock the heavy particulate especially any um, um, metals that might be um, being machined from getting sucked up and grounding out the electrostatic cell. So the mesh filters just need to be cleaned um, and make sure that there's, uh, they're not bound up with anything, but there's no charge to them. The mesh filters won't have any effect on the, on the, on the operation of the unit itself. In addition, for these types of units, you have your variable speed control, and um, that just will uh, regulate the motor on top and how much air is being pulled through the unit. In general, I keep it on the lower side. Um, the lower the air uh, volume that's going through the cells, the more efficient they charge and clean the air. Um, the next uh, component of the machine that's worth mentioning is the is the power packs and on the Mistbuster model that I'm showing this is the 850 and there's two power packs and you have the bottom pack bottom power pack charging the first two cells and you have the top power pack charging the third cell um, if you find that you put clean cells in and you still don't have an indicator light that's going on, more likely than not, you need to replace the power pack. And you know, the power packs are very simple to replace. The trick is when you get a new power pack, just slowly unplug. There's only um, a few connections to the power pack. Basically, the power pack is going to connect to the ionizer section of the cell, the um, collection component of the cell and the indicator lights. So there's only a few connections and what I recommend is a good trick is just take your new power pack and slowly unclip everything from the old power pack until it's totally all the same and then take your old power pack, put it aside and, and just bolt in your new power pack and there's only four bolts to hold it in place. So it's just a good trick rather than taking everything apart. But if you did, you can always use the top power pack as a, um, a guide. Um, in addition, you have your indicator lights. 
they usually don't break, but in it, you could have a situation where your indicator light is faulty. So the cell is being charged, the power pack is working, but your indicator light's not going on. A good trick to figure out whether the uh, indicator light is working or not would be to turn the machine on, get it running, and if you have no indicator light, ground out the um, cell. And if you hear a ticking when you ground out the cell, then that's telling you that the cell is being charged and that your indicator light is bad because the cell is actually grounding out when you press this test button. Because with the test button, what you're really doing is you're grounding out the cell. You're just uh, stopping the charge. And that's going to uh, create a clicking sound um, when you press it. And that'll give you a good indication that uh, you know, your, your indicator light is what needs to be replaced. Replacing the indicator light is not hard. You see, in this example, you would push the plastic clip that the indicator light snaps into. It's harder to do than I thought, but you push this through and this is going to unclip. And then you just snap the new one in place um, and connect the wire. So it's, it's an easy replacement. Um, we have all these parts, um, whether it's the contact boards, which is on the machine side. There's also contact plates on the cell side. And they look like this. And as I mentioned, these contact plates could get clogged up with uh, particulate, make sure they're clean. And also these could get clogged up with particulate grease. They slowly bind up. You can unbolt them. There's just four bolts here and you can replace this. So we carry the contact boards um, on the machine side. Um, you can also replace them on the cell side. We carry the replacement power packs and the indicator lights in the variable speed controls. Um, there's also a, um, a capacitor up, up here and that just brings down your voltage to the power packs um, and we sell these in 240 and 120 depending on your, your model. Um, the other trick that is important to keep these things running smooth would be your pre-filters. And let me, for this demonstration, close this up and spin this around. And if you see here, as I mentioned, you have two pre-filters. And on the Mistbuster models, they give you two two-inch um, pre-filters. But there's, they're very porous. And what I find is you can improve the efficiency of these filters by putting in a Dacron filter in lieu of one of them. And you can put, these Dacron filters are really good in um, knocking down a lot of the oil particulate before they even get to the cell. So they'll extend the life, the working life of the unit. And what you would do is you could put one or two um, in place, put them in first, and then put the um, two inch filter in lieu. Of the so instead of so you have one two inch filter and two Dacron filters, you, you'd have a little space in between, you'll see, but that's okay, that's not going to affect the performance of the machine, it'll, it'll improve it. And um, close the door, and um, that's a good trick the, the Dacron filters, and we sell these as well. In addition, um, some people um, want to use an impinger filter, which I find works well too and what this is is unlike the mesh filter you're knocking down the particulate and it has to go it has to go around this solid um, grease filter if you will or around the fins in here and that um, knocks down a lot of oil particulate as well and what I do in that instance is I put one filter in put the um, these openings place them down so that the oil will drain back down and then in this instance use this second the second mesh filter in, in, in place and that also could um, extend the life of the uh, uh, electrostatic cells so um, the other the other component to this and I 
I really can't show you as well. There's a motor on top and there is, I think there's about 12 screws that you could take this top panel off and access the motor on the top, which sometimes you will have the motor go. We sell that replacement part as well. And you need to take the side off and you'll see it unbolts and can, you can put a new motor in place. Um, one of the things I tell people that they have to realize is if the units are grounded out in the cell and you have no indicator lights, that doesn't mean the motor will stop. Um, if you don't have indicator lights and you see it's still blowing, all you're doing is taking the oil mist from the CNC cabinet and, and putting it into the ambient factory air. So um, there's two components to the machine. It's critical to have the indicator lights on and as well have the motor working. Um, but in most instances, I see our customers, um, the, the indicator lights will go off and that's the problem, not the motor braking or um, any other components really going. It's, it's usually that the cells aren't clean. Um, so we have all these parts for, the, uh, for this Mistbuster series uh, 850 in this, uh, in this demonstration.